Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Obviously a few results going slightly against the odds in the first midweek um, of the season for the Championship. Um, Leeds going back top for these 24 hours and then Swansea going back top. Um, the top 4 to 5 I would say even maybe in 6th place. It's all up for grabs at this early stage. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what to do. So, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. And let's go. So, the first game we're going to talk about is Birmingham City versus Middlesbrough. Birmingham City lose a 1 0 away to Wigan Athletic. Middlesbrough 1 0 at home against Preston North End. Let's talk about our Birmingham. City result on a Birmingham City perspective. Not a great that the office is at Birmingham. I mean, um, fair play to Wigan, and I'll talk about um, I'll talk about that result on a Wigan point of view when I get down to their fixture. But Birmingham going to Wigan. When I look at that result, we're Birmingham going to that game expecting to get the three points. Well, we're expecting, but then were the players actually thinking like, no disrespect to Wigan, a bit like we're going to walk all over them, and it turned out not to be. Um, you're not the only team to do it if you did think that way, um, but fair play to Wigan. Um, Middlesbrough, on the other hand, one all against uh, Preston at home. Probably expect a little bit more pressing, but yet again, I'll get down to that when I talk about their fixture. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a Birmingham City win, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Birmingham City win. My next one is Fulham versus Charlton. Bit of a London derby. Um, Charlton losing 2-1 at home to Swansea. Fulham... Beating Reading away from home 4-1. Great result for Fulham. Um, Fulham away from home. Uh, not where their strongest um, expertise will probably be. But, you know, to either go to Reading and get a 4-1 result, fair play to you, Fulham. Um, Charlton, on the other hand, losing 2-1 at home. E probably a bit of... Expectation a lot of probably expected that no disrespect to Charlton, only just came back up from League One, and you're doing ever so well in to be back in the championship and where you are currently standing. But as far as this game goes, I'm gonna give it to Fulham because I know they will be strong at home, and I'll go for a 3 1 Fulham win. My next one is Bristol City versus Reading. Reading, as I just mentioned, losing 4-1 at home to Fulham. Bristol City, 1-0 away to Brentford. Bit of a disappointing day um, on the Bristol City point of view. Um, but going to Brentford and getting a point, it ain't too bad either, to be honest. Um, Reading on the other hand, disappointed out the office, I sure ready want to move on and that's what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give you my result over and I'll go for a 2-0 Bristol City win. My next one is Derby County versus Luton Town. Derby, um, I want to talk to you a bit about Derby and I will do in a minute. Um, Derby County, 2-2 at home, to Barn uh, away to Barnsley. Luton Town, one all at home to Millwall. Let's talk about our Derby County, and I don't want to drag on it for too long because it is a couple of weeks old. I probably should talk about it sooner, but I wanted dust to settle, and you know, I wanted to wait to see what went on. Um, let's talk about Richard Keown being out from 2020 after being in a car accident with two teammates that have been charged for drink driving. Now, you injured your captain, Derby. I can't remember where the two players were, but really. Um, I know we went out for a player's evening or whatever it was, but to stay 
out between two to three in the morning, come on, you're professionals at your job. Should, as far as I'm concerned, you should be out that late. Um, even though you ain't got training in maybe the next morning, you do have to take responsibility for your actions. So, you know, it's all been done now. As I say, I probably should have mentioned it sooner, but I didn't want to mention it sooner because of the, um, you know, I wanted to see what happens. Um, but Derby County, two track Barnsley, without no captain. Barnsley, good point. Derby, on the other hand, I've had a really disappointing day at the office again for Derby County. Luton, on the other hand, one all against Millwall. Probably expecting nothing less. But as far as this game goes, because you've got no captain, I'm going to go for Luton, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Luton Town win. My next one is Huddersfield Town versus Hull City. Hull City winning 1-0 at home to Sheffield Wednesday. Huddersfield Town beating Stoke 1-0 away from home. Stoke, uh, not Stoke, sorry, Huddersfield have picked up their first win of this season. I watched a bit of that game. Um... And I, can, I think I can roughly relate to where Stokes' problems lie. I think in that last 10 minutes where I think the goal came, Stoke were hanging on for the point and would have been happy for that. Um, but Huddersfield kept fighting and got the goal. Fair play to him, Huddersfield. Um, Hull City, Sheffield Wednesday. See, this Sheffield Wednesday. I look at Sheffield Wednesday most probably the way I shouldn't do. And I always go back there where I mentioned before where they were fighting for the playoffs. But they're nowhere to be seen now. So, but, you know, three points for both teams. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Hull and I'm going to go for a 2-1 Hull City win. My next one is a big game of this weekend. It's Millwall versus Leagues. Now... I don't need to tell you about the rivalry between the two clubs. Um, you know, they've always had been feisty affairs. Um, Millwall uh, won all away to Luton. Leeds beating West Brom 1-0 at home. And that put the top of the championship for at least 24 hours. That's the game I put my eye on, that Leeds-West Brom game. And I... I don't... I think Leeds were... Perhaps a bit stronger um, last season. I mean, let's be fair to West Brom, and I'll, obviously I'll speak about them more when I get down to their fixture. They could have had one or two goals. I'm just saying. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw, considering it's at the den, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Nottingham, Nottingham Forest. Um, first is Brentford. Brentford 1 all at home to Bristol City. Nottingham Forest 1 all away to Blackburn. Both disappointing days at the office, so I'm just going to give you the scoreline for this one. And I'm going to go for a 1 all scoreline for that one. My next one is Preston North End versus Barnsley. Barnsley 2 2 against Derby County. I've already mentioned, but I will speak about that result on a Barnsley perspective. Preston North End 1 0 away to Middlesbrough. Probably expected a bit more Preston, if I'm all honest. Barnsley pick up a point against, let's be honest, not the, not the Derby County from last season, because Derby are not. But still a good point for Barnsley, none of the wiser. I um, can't remember what game it was. But Barnsley are a team, and there's no disrespect to Barnsley. They're looking to become a stable championship team, and that will take time. Finding you're above that relegation line at the start, uh, at the end of the season. could be at the start of the season, it don't really matter. Um, at the end of the season. You know, I would t consider that a step forward. Um, in the championship, baby steps. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to Preston, and I'm going to go for a 2 0 Preston win. My next one is QPR versus Blackburn. Q 
keep your losing 3 0 away to Cardiff. Blackburn, I think I've mentioned them, 1 0 at home to Nottingham Forest. Great point for Blackburn, I do think, overall, how Notch Forest have been playing in the recent weeks. Um, but I think Blackburn should have had that game. Um, no disrespect to Nottingham Forest. Um, but on the press, uh, sorry, on the QPR end, I probably expected one or two goals. I know I didn't go for that. I know I, know I went for a 3 0 Cardiff win for that game. Um, and I got it spot on. But you know, it's just my opinion. I do think perhaps QPR maybe should have got a goal at the Cardiff City Stadium. But as far as this game goes, I'm going to call it a draw and I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Wigan. Um, Sheffield Wednesday losing 1 0 away to Hull. Wigan beat Birmingham 1 0 at home. Great three points for Wigan. No one saw that coming. No disrespect to Wigan. I think, obviously, it's quite a few weeks back now. When I did my championship prediction table, um, I put them down for relegation. I think I would change that now if I could. But obviously, I can't. Set up on my channel somewhere. So, uh, do feel free if you want to have a look through my channel and, you know, look at that video. Um, Sheffield wins on the other hand, losing 1 0 to Hull away from home. Probably expecting a draw. And uh, no, that's no disrespect to Hull. But as far as this game goes, because of the weekend's results, I'm going to go for a 2 1 Wigan win. My next one is Swansea City versus Stoke. Um, Swansea City losing, and uh, sorry, not losing. Winning away to Chelton 2-1. Stoke losing 1-0 at home to Huddersfield. As I've said in this video, I'll say it again because of the Stoke City perspective. I think I know where Stoke City's problems lie. Obviously it's not uh, me to basically... I mean, I can sit here all night and talk about where team's problems are. If you do want to see a video like that, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. I'm always am interested to sit down and look at teams. I mean, this is something I will do off camera. There's not much is on it, but if you'd like to see a video like that, please feel free to put it down in the comments below. Um, but horrible day for Stoke. Horrible day for Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones, surely the exit door is knocking. Stoke City fans, if you want to, please feel free. If Nathan Jones goes out the exit door, who you would like to see replace him? Swansea, on the other hand, beating Charlton 2 1 at, away from home, which is why I'm going for a Swansea City win, and I'm going for a 3 1 Swansea City win. My last one for this weekend is West Brom and Albion versus Cardiff City. Cardiff City beating QPR 3-0 at home. West Brom losing 1-0 to Leeds away from home. I've already started about West Brom, but I'm going to speak about it again on the West Brom point of view. Um, I still reckon West Brom should have got a point out of that game. That's no disrespect to Leeds whatsoever. That is literally no disrespect to Leeds whatsoever. I know I just said that. Um, but I reckon West, West Brom should have got a point. I watched that game and they missed chance after chance after, you know, obviously it wasn't West Brom's day, but how did they not get a point out of that game? I never know. Um, Cardiff, on the other hand, and yes, I know I've already said it, I've got that with Sol. Um, dead on, 3-0 Cardiff, great 
great result for Cardiff. Obviously, Cardiff um been told that they need to pay um the first instalment for Emiliano Salah. I know um about the passing of him. I know that his dad died a few weeks after. Um, I know we should not be talking about it at this point. Um, but as far as I see it, when Salah came over the, the first time and signed that document, he is illegally a Cardiff City player. Um, I hope I didn't have to talk about it. I didn't really want to talk about it, but I've got, you know, I've got to mention it just in case you people don't know um, but I don't think we should be talking about this because of what's happened to his family him, his dad you know and that's still one about money wrong time maybe at the end of the season maybe who knows but um, yeah that's all I'm going to mention on that but great result for Cardiff um, you know 3-0 at home to QPR West, as I've said, West Brom, how did they not score? Um, this game is really hard to call because of them results. Um, I know West Brom are strong at home. I know Simon Village will be looking to get back on winning ways. I know Cardiff will probably go up there looking for a point more than the three. That's just my perspective again. Um, and because of them... I'm going to call it a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.